Hello everyone, I'm Yoni Schlesinger and this is the tutorial for your song by Elton John. Before we start, I just want to say that each time I play this song, I play it a little bit differently. So I won't be accurate on the every note I'm doing, except the intro, that it's gonna be note by note. And in the middle, there are parts that uh, it's gonna be accurate. But most, most of the time, you just need to feel the vibe, you know, I don't always say this. So, most of the time in this song, we're going to be the piano players, and also the bass players. Afterwards, we're gonna be also the drummers, and eventually we're going to be also the guitar players. So, let's uh, get into it. The song originally on E flat, and in our case, to make it easier, I'm doing cup of three, and we're going to play it in chords like C, F, G. It's gonna be fun. So let's start with the intro. The chords of the intro are C, E, 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 F, G, 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 F, 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 F. But of course it doesn't sound like this because there is some magic in the intro. And the magic is the bass is always stays on C chord. Like ta da 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 so what's going on there? The first chord is C, regular C. Okay, and on the right hand is going to do five. When I say five, I mean fifth string. So five, three, two, one, together, like this. Two, two, three, five, two, three, one, two, three. Two, two, three, five, one, two, three, two, two, three, five, one, two, three. Because the bass always done, two, two. This is the rhythm of the bass. So. Okay. And the second chord, the right hand will do the same thing, but what's going on on the left hand, we're going to do F. But not this F, but this F. And why? You can say, okay, let's do this F and not touch the sixth string, like this. It sounds the same. But the problem is that most of us, when we are doing something like this, we all also tempted to touch the sixth string. So generally, each time I'm doing a chord and I don't need to touch uh, one of the strings, and if it doesn't important for the structure of the chord, I, I just leave it out. Because then I, I have another finger that is uh, free to do other things than just press on something that I'm not gonna play on. And also it's much easier, like, like F, you know, there is this F, but... This F is much uh, nicer in this, instead of bigger movement, so. This F is, uh, the bass doesn't move, stays with the ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. The pinky on the fourth string, third fret. Middle finger on the third string, second fret. And index finger on the second string, first fret and the index will bar also the first string uh, second and first string on the first fret so okay on the right hand is doing the same also on the second chord is first chord is tra two three five one two three tra two three five one two G, but it's not going to be G, it's like, it's some kind of G9, but instead of doing regular G, we need this bass, of course. So, we stay on this bass, uh, but uh, till now we, was, we were on the ring finger on the bass, but now we transfer it to the uh, middle finger on the bass of C, and the index finger will go to third string, second fret and together, five and three, okay? Open B string, we remove the hand, the index hand, and open G strings, and the ring finger, ring finger now will go to second string, third fret. Again, the bass, this is the time the bass is coming again, and open B and open G, so. A 
And now we're back to F, but now we don't need to bar it like before because we don't need the first string. And I told you, if we don't need something, we don't press on him. In this case, it's, it's classic in this case because it's really, it's harder to do this instead of just like F, like F major seven. But as I said, we don't need the first string, we just need this shape and it's gonna be uh, Okay, so five, three, four, two, five, three, four. And now let's do the intro slowly. Now let's start the song. So it's, the song starts with full C chord, which means that the ring finger will go up to the sixth string third fret, and the pinky will go below it to the fifth string third fret, which is the C bass. So. It's a little bit funny. Now it's F major seven. It's like the previous F that I talk about, but now we add the thumb to the bass, because we need the bass now. It's a little bit funny, I just do and go all, all, all over the strings. And the F is major 7, the E string is open, so, okay? It's a little bit funny, and the right hand just continue to do what you did on the, um, the intro, but just feel it like a, it's a little bit funny. Sometimes you can add like these things with the, all the thumb just go. It's instead of this, just this. Wherever you can go to all, all the strings. And most of the time you can because it's full chords. Okay? It's a little bit funny. And now tra da da. We take the pinky out of the F and put it on the second string third fret and pull it off to the regular uh, first fret of the second string string which is already there so it's a little bit funny and now G ba bass B and as I said before I don't do this G and just press this because I don't want to be tempted to touch the sixth string because so I just do this G with two finger here like a index index uh, finger on the fifth string second fret a ring finger on the second string, third fret, and the pinky on the first string, third fret. And this one is, this two is open, so. Okay. It's a little bit funny. This feeling in E minor, regular E minor. It's A minor that you come th come to it through A nine. Tra da. Okay. Like open B string and go to the A minor. Not one of those, those who can. It's A minor bass G. With the pink, you just add the bass of G. Not one of those who can. Still stay on the A minor and with the thumb, you do F sharp bass. Is a And again to F major 7, like the second chord on the verse. Na Again C, full C, and that now the bass is important because I don't, we stay on the bass of G, like in full C, on the sixth string, because I don't have much money, but boy if I did, this is the bass, so full C, I don't have much money, and now regular G after this, with the bass of G of course, don't have much money I don't do this G because it's much easier to go here than this shape afterwards we're going it's gonna be really important to do this shape but I, all the song all the songs I just do this shape of G which means the index finger is the bass not the index sorry the ring finger is the bass middle finger is on the fifth string uh, second fret and the pinky on the first string third fret so 
much money, but and now it's E with A flat on the bass. Uh, now it's not full E and there because it's a little bit hard to do it and I don't want to to be in pressure while I'm playing the song. I want to do least effort on the left hand so I can concentrate on singing and play nicely on the nice on the right hand. So don't have much money but so how I do it I just skip the fifth string. I do with the pinky the A flat which means four fret on the sixth string. I don't touch the fifth string at all. The middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and index finger on the first string, uh, on the third string, first fret, and open B, open E. So, okay. So, I don't have much money, but boy, if I A minor, regular, regular C. D minor 7, D minor 7 it's bass of D, uh, middle finger on the uh, first string, second uh, fret, and first uh, index finger is barring bar on the second, and first uh, string on the first fret. Okay? So, I don't have much money, but if I did, C. Minor 7, F major 7 again, and G, and now we need this G and not the regular one, this G we did before because the index, in this G the index finger is free, and when she's, when she's free she can do what we need here, it's... Okay, we just add it, ta, on the second string, first fret, ta, ta, and remove it, so... Okay, so what we have till now, uh, the intro we talked about it, Let, let's do it with the intro, okay. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside, A minor, not man, A minor bass G, A minor bass F sharp. F major 7, C bass G, G, E bass F flat, A minor, C, D minor 7, F major 7, and G, and we add the index finger here. Okay, and uh, if I was a sculptor, the same, but then again, no, I mean, this one, okay. And when you get to this, this one, you do, previous time we went to G, G, but now this one's for you and back to C, okay. And C, and then we bar it like before because we need the sus. The sus4 or sus11 in this case. Okay, we get it here. Okay. And the, and now the chorus. It's again G bass B, and we don't need this. So without this, just this. And you can tell A minor. D minor 7, F major 7, G bus B, A minor, D M7, F major 7, M, A M bass G, A M bass F sharp, F major 7. Okay, now the F major 7 is not accurate, sorry. like the F major 7 but instead of this shape we we're going to do the bass of F with the thumb the ring finger will be on third uh, fourth string third fret middle finger on the 
third string second fret and the pinky will be on the second string third fret which means F6 and just on 6, 4, 3, 2 the strings we don't need everything else Not in the, don't need the fifth string and don't need the first string so I hope you don't mind like this what? and then the pinky from the sixth go to what? just move it down to the first string uh, third fret now it's C bass E how wonderful and now D minor bass F it's like regular D minor but the bass F with the thumb. So, how wonderful life is again. Well, you're in the world. G. And the G that we did before because the index finger will do the same thing like you did before. Okay. So, we have the first verse and first chorus. Now, the second verse and second chorus are the same, but the difference is that you're putting the rhythm. So we go to the intro again, the intro again without the rhythm, still without the rhythm. So, well, you're in the world. The same. And now here we to turn the turn. After the this note, we starting the rhythm. Like yeah, just practice on this. Try to feel the rhythm. Okay. And when you block, when you do this, try not to block all the strings. Like explosions in, you know. But try to just uh, make the knocks, but without touching the all strings to keep it quiet all of a sudden. So I just do it with the thumb here. Of the verses, well, they've got me quite cross. Okay, uh, so just try to this uh, finger style uh, shape. And now let's continue. That's what's changing here. Uh, it's not exactly the same because let's see where it changes. Uh, changes. So, set on the roof and kick off the moss. Well, the few of the verses, well, they've got me. And now, quite cross. It's ta 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 ta. Six, four, three, two, together. Three times. Ta ta. So, sat on the roof and kicked off the nose while the feel of the verse has got me quite cross. Okay? And it's like F major uh, 7, F6. Uh, Again, we, we add it in the end of the chorus. So, ta ta ta. But the sun's been quite kind while I wrote this song. Okay, now we, the guitar is finally in the song. The, the, it's the classical guitar in the original song do it. So, it's supposed to be A minor here, and we do A minor, but in this shape, like bar on, with the index finger on the fifth fret, on the third, second, and first string. Okay, so, but the sound's been quite kind, but I wrote this song. We had the pinky on the eighth fret on the first string, and uh, and take it back to the seventh fret on the first string. Five again, uh, five uh, on the first string, five on the second string, and five on the first string. So ah, yeah, we don't get to the third string on the way back. So 
Five, three, two, one. Eight swing, seven, six, eight fret, seven fret. Back to fifth fret and fifth fret on the second string. So. Just you need to know this G instead of uh, in the first in the first uh, verse it was uh, and now da, da, da. okay so by the sun's been quite kind while I wrote this song and this when you get to the eighth fret it's a, with a knock but this is, I can't really teach you how to do it. You have to knock and put the sound with it. And if you say, I can't do them both, what shall I do? Shall I stop the knocking and do this note? Or shall I continue knocking and miss the note? So I say, miss the note and continue knocking. This is every time when you think about rhythm uh, versus a note, the rhythm will is always winning. Okay, so if you can do it, just do it. instead of yeah. Okay. So it's for people like you that keeps it turned on. Again, so it's easy to sing, but it's things I do. You see, I forgot if they're green. The blue. Anyway, the thing is what I really mean. Again, the same. Yours are the sweetest eyes I've ever seen. Exactly the same like before. And the chorus is um, the same. I think. You can tell everybody this is your song. Get to this, you stop the knocking. I hope it don't mind. I hope it don't mind that I put the darling words. Oh, 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 oh,